you're probably wondering why I brought you here today. Well, the tremendous work you've done for the Guild has not gone unnoticed. We have a job coming up, and I recommended you. As you already know, the Guild has been trying to expand as of late. Our goal is to have a branch of the Guild planted in every major city within the next ten years. This is Theramar. It's a large trading city. We've had our eyes on it for quite some time. We didn't want to just show up and stake claim all at once. Such things we need to be careful about. That's why we've spent a few years accumulating favors with political figures and gathering information. Let's start by discussing your role in this and what you're going to take with you. We want you to lead the branch in Theramar, a currently unestablished branch that you're going to make. We're going to let you recruit seven agents within the guild. Make your selections carefully, because these men will be answering directly to you, and you will be held partially responsible for their mistakes. I'm going to need the requests in writing, as well as your reasoning for each selection. That way I can turn it into the council. You will be given two carriages. That will be enough to transport yourself, as well as your team and any equipment. The journey is going to take about a week by horse-drawn carriage. This is the city of Blackwell. It's roughly halfway between Altamir to the north and Theramar, your target in the south. It's a small, paranoid town built around a supposedly cursed crossroad. In the center is a long, dried-up well. This well, containing nothing but shadows, is the infamous Blackwell of Blackwell, but uh, enough with the history lesson. Most nights of your journey, you're going to be sleeping in the carriages. You and your team will just have to take shifts based on who is sleeping in the carriage, and who is manning the reins in the meantime. Now, Blackwell being the halfway point, I want you to stop in this town for a couple of nights, both to rest and to gather some much needed supplies. You are going to need a lot of gold when you get to Theramar. You'll need it for a variety of reasons. You'll need to buy information from political figures. You're going to need to bribe the guards to turn a blind eye from turn to time. You're going to need to purchase equipment, hire freelancers. The list goes on and on. Now, I spoke to the council and tried to get you some funds for this mission. Unfortunately, the council is incredibly stingy when it comes to gold. I've secured a few funds for you, but you're going to need more than this. That's why, for your last night in Blackwell, I want you to hit this town for everything it's worth. Normally we don't permit raids of this nature. Such massive looting in such a short period of time, it tends to draw too much attention. But Blackwell is well beyond the borders of Altamir, and circumstances being what they are, We've granted you special permission. Let's talk about the law enforcement. The town is run by a sheriff. He has four deputies in his employ. This stone barracks is where most of the law enforcement will be at any given time. Several dozen townsfolk have also donated their time as part-time militia members. This militia also answers directly to the sheriff. There's no wall around the town, 
but there are several very tall stone towers. Atop these towers will be one or two very sharp archers at any given time. My point being, once you've pulled off your thefts for the night, I would suggest you do so in a quiet fashion. If you're too loud about it, you will have arrows raining down on you as you try to make your exit. Now, as for which businesses to target, there's a few farms that make a decent amount of money, but your real targets should be these, the buildings closest to the crossroads. There's a few taverns, a few inns, a few stables. The purpose of these buildings is for travelers to rest for a while, as well as their horses, after a long journey. It's a crossroads that connects several large cities, Theramar, Altmir, Avernus. There's no other town for miles. Once a man has been on the road for several nights without rest, he'll pay almost anything for a tall glass of ale and a warm bed. That's why these businesses should have enough money in their vaults to get you the gold that you need. Which brings us to the main objective, Theramar, a massive trading hub connecting the mainland to the wealthy islands to the west. It's connected to the mainland by a few bridges. The city is built on a very condensed barrier island. It's a very dense city. The northern bridge has trade caravans coming and going in a constant flow. The Southern Bridge is intended for military and government use only. You'll notice there's another small island down here. It contains several longhouses for guards to live in, a few private stables for the guards, a private tavern, and even a giant prison building. This island is essentially a giant military outpost built for defense purposes. I would not recommend stepping foot on this island for any reason. You will be entering here, the North Gate, meant for trade. You're going to have to pass through customs. The customs master owes us a few favors for various reasons, but I don't want to cash in those favors until absolutely necessary. So, I beg you to please be subtle as you enter. We're going to build you some custom crates. The top half of these crates, when opened, will reveal bottles of wine, and wheels of cheese, things of that nature. Just pretend you're a traveling salesman. The bottom half of the crates has a secret opening. That's where you're going to store your stolen gold, your weapons, your gear, any contraband. Let's discuss the layout of the town so that you have your bearings. Along the eastern side of the town, facing the mainland, there is a large stone wall. There is also several enormous, and I do mean enormous, towers. Atop these stone towers are large ballista cannons. They're so enormous that they have to be manned by a six-person team. The projectiles they fire are about the size of a tree. It's so large and carries so much velocity, it can put a hole in an enemy ship or split an enemy carriage into tiny wooden pieces. We've got our hands on a few records that suggest this town has roughly 1.5 thousand men in its employ as full-time guards. This town has a ton of wealth, and that wealth is never going to be claimed by pirates sailing in by sea, or orcish raiding parties coming in from the mainland. This town's coin will never be stolen by way of violence. It will only ever be stolen our way, the subtle way, by cloak and by tag. Once you're in the town, 
you're going to report here to the slums near the city cemetery. It's not much, but we do have a safe house waiting for you. It's currently being watched by two sleeper agents who I sent to the town in advance. Their job was to gather information and send it to me by Raven. Once you're in the town, those two sleeper agents are going to join your ranks, and they will answer directly to you. I want you to focus on establishing a foothold in your first few weeks. The thieves of this town are nothing but a bunch of hooligans and thugs. This town has never seen an organization like ours before. They may not know it yet, but the shopkeepers are desperate for an organization like the one you're going to set up. Someone who can make the thugs and the brutes go away for a nominal fee. Keep in mind that we're not looking for some quick raids to make a quick turnaround. We are looking at long-term investment with this mission. That's why I want you to plant the roots of this branch very deep. I want you to invest in some of the shadier businesses. I want you to collect favors from political figures. I want you to make protection arrangements with the local shopkeepers. I want you to build a name for yourself, but only in the right circles. I want you to learn the right names and shake the right hands. You are going to be the guild master of the Theramar branch and send us a 30% cut. The other 70% is going to be divided amongst yourself and the members of the guild that you build. If you think you're up to the task, start conducting interviews. You have a team to assemble. 